The UK government has made an important announcement regarding the management of the riskiest forms of artificial intelligence. This World First Agreement focuses on what is known as Frontier AI, which refers to highly advanced forms of the technology with capabilities that are still unknown. The agreement, signed by countries including the US, the EU, and China, was revealed at the UK's AI Safety Summit. The summit was attended by prominent figures such as Elon Musk, who warned about the potential dangers of AI leading to humanity's extinction. However, other attendees cautioned against speculating about unlikely future threats and emphasized the need to address the present-day risks posed by AI, such as job displacement and bias. King Charles also made a pre-recorded statement, comparing the development of advanced AI to the discovery of electricity and stressing the importance of addressing the risks associated with it. The UK government referred to the agreement as the Bletchley Declaration, with 28 countries acknowledging the urgent need to understand and collectively manage potential AI risks. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak hailed this as a landmark achievement that ensures the long-term future of future generations. The importance of a global approach to managing AI was emphasized by various countries, including China. Despite tensions between China and the West, China's Vice Minister Wu Jiahui called for global collaboration and the sharing of knowledge in AI. The U.S. also announced plans to launch its own AI Safety Institute following the summit. UK Technology Secretary Michelle Donilan chaired the opening remarks and announced that the next summit will be held virtually and hosted by the Republic of Korea in six months, followed by an in-person event hosted by France in one year. Elon Musk's warning about AI was met with mixed reactions. While some experts consider his concerns to be exaggerated, others, such as Nick Clegg, the president of global affairs at Meta and former deputy prime minister, urged people to focus on more immediate challenges rather than speculative predictions. It is important to note that claims about environmentalists advocating for extreme measures to reduce the world's population are baseless and unsupported by evidence. The main concerns regarding AI revolve around job automation and the potential for bias in powerful online systems. In conclusion, the UK government's announcement of the agreement on managing risky forms of AI marks a significant step towards understanding and addressing the potential risks associated with this technology. The global collaboration and commitment to collective management demonstrate the importance of a unified approach in ensuring the responsible development and use of AI.